Hmm? Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Rosie and this is my channel with my fiance Ryan. That's our dog. Just loves to squeak right when I'm in the middle of doing things. I'm introing this vlog to tell you guys that we are actually going to be like doing a little DIY vlog. We'll be doing our backsplash in our kitchen. I'm super stoked, a um, little nervous, not gonna lie. If you're new here, this was our kitchen when we moved in and we have painted the cabinets and installed brand new countertops and really renovated the space. And now the last part to kind of complete it is the backsplash. Eventually, we might redo the flooring throughout this area, I don't know. We plan to be in this house for a long time. Um, we bought it in June of 2019 and it's now, oh my gosh, May of 2021. So we've al almost been in here for two years. And yeah, we've just been slowly renovating it as we can and as we can afford. So we are going to be doing backsplash on the, obviously the walls and we are gonna be going up the wall completely. So what I need to do right now is I need to clear off all the spaces. I'm gonna put some um, like paper down so then the surfaces don't get destroyed. I, don't, I wanna protect our countertops throughout this whole process. And yeah, let's get going. I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what we're doing. So we're gonna start from here, top to bottom. Well, we'll obviously start from the bottom to the top, but you get the vibe. So it's gonna go all the way up to the top of the counters. We'll go behind the stove, all the way up, all the way through here, stop at the fridge. And then we will probably do a few rows up here just on this side. I don't think we had plans to cut here, but maybe we will. That might look really nice and complete if we do it on that side. So now I'm going to take off all the outlet covers and we actually got new ones, so they're nice, new, and sleek. And then I'm going to clean the walls, degrease the walls, make sure there's no grease, especially from the stove area on there. And then we're gonna make a ledger back behind the stove. I'm just realizing we also might have bought the wrong outlet covers for these. I think that we got the ones that have like the reset button in the middle. So I'm gonna keep hold of those. We'll probably still just go get new ones because I wanted nice new sleek ones just to kind of match everything and I wanted like the screws to be hidden. So we'll probably just go get new ones that, but I'm gonna put all these just in a Ziploc in case we need them and then I'm gonna clean the walls. Ryan had to patch up a few spots on the wall. I just sprayed a decreaser and it kind of dripped down, but it's fine. I'm gonna sand off some of these edges to make it all flat and even to the wall. And then I'm gonna make that ledger so we know how to go straight across and keep it level. Sanding. So that's great. Um, literally not even doing much, but I am going to just get this all cleaned up and then we can start taping some stuff off. check it out really quick so, didn't have the chance to look at it when we first got it yep okay it's super pretty it's got this like really cool sheen on it so it's in like nice like texture to it it's like a like a subway tile kind of like look to it but I feel like a little bit more unique which is kind of why we were drawn to it and it's super got kind of like a reflective look to it so we thought it would like at least like mesh really well in our kitchen so I like it. Which way are we going with it? Like that? Yeah. And then just stack up. And we'll go all the way to the edge of the counter, though, on this one. Versus here, probably. Probably. 
So I need to mark with like a pencil. Here, yeah, do you want to try to stack a few to see how many up? Remember what? Out? Remember what the guy did? No. On the video, he literally just went like this. Oh, I didn't even remember that. So we'll have to cut the top ones. That's okay. Yeah. Well, and also spacers and stuff. Yeah, he just like, he was like. I don't remember that. that that's really smart. I am going to quickly show you guys what we got for this project. We got some just like sponges, um, sanding sponges, masking paper, this is for the counters. Then we also got this tile adhesive, which is the Acryl Pro. Um, then we have a trowel, and then this is a grout sponge. And then we got outlet covers. We need to go pick up a couple more because we got the wrong ones. We got some of these little markers for um, to be able to mark our tile if we need to do any cuts. Got a new uh, telephone wall plate plug-in and got these one or an eighth of an inch spacers, longer um, screws for our new outlets to make them long enough. With the tile, ceramic tile caulk right here to caulk the base. Um, we got this poly blend non-sanded grout that is just, it's called bright white. So that should be good. And then these sponges. And then Ryan right now is making a float. Make sure that we have it all level um, so we can be able to like tile over um, this like kind of open area where the stove and oven is. So we're gonna do that really quickly. I'm gonna mark up the wall of where we're gonna tile and get the tile um, saw out and get this thing going. Ryan and I have never used a table saw before, but that's obviously what we need for this project. So we're gonna try to make a cut really quickly. We wanna be able to like obviously see how it works prior, but so to my knowledge is that you put water in here. Let me check it out really quickly before I get going. Got this, babe. We're gonna do great. Chip and Joanna who? No, I think it's fine. Because I think that we can do what we said before, like kind of trim it up. But did it like feel like you jerked at the end or was it okay? Yeah, it like okay. jolted it. Okay. That's why it made that. Cool. Okay. I'm like, do we have to clean up all those? You mean? Like those, like this little edge? I doubt it. Yeah, let's see. Ryan's a little nervous. That's fair though. I feel like I'm trying not to be nervous because we both can't be nervous. I'm like, where do you want me to start? Like put it on, just lather it? Yep. Like kind of how he did, remember how he like said that you have to put pressure? Yeah. Like so you lather, lather it on and then start spreading it. Woo! You got this, babe. Nice. I'm like, that doesn't look right. You just gotta keep going, I think. Just keep moving it around. It gives me hope that people say you really f it up, so. Do you want to try it? Because I feel like I'm f You're not f it up. Let's see. I mean, I don't know how to do it either, so. On the outside. Mm -hmm. You just press. There we go. Do you want to start handing me some? Cause then we can just put them all in the what we space them out after. Like yeah, you put them and then I'll put spacers in between. Good luck. 
<laughs> You're doing great. We're kicking ass, baby. We realized a lot of the videos have it going like horizontal first versus vertical, so we're gonna switch to that just to make sure that we are doing it correctly. Quick little update. We're looking good. It's, we're a little confused what to do up here. This very, very tiny sliver. I think we're gonna leave it potentially, but yeah, onto this wall. Hello, okay, it's 7.45 and I am up and ready for work. I didn't vlog anymore last night because Ryan and I finished up at like 9.30ish and then we made dinner and went to bed, so. It was a pretty late night for us. We're normally like in bed like around 9.30. We're more morning people than evening people. We like to get in bed and watch TikTok for a while. But I wanna show you guys the current kitchen situation. I could take out the spacers right now, but I'm honestly, I need to get to work out. I will probably do it later and then we're grouting tonight, but I'm so impressed. Um, this project took Ryan and I about three and a half hours and we kind of divvied up the roles. So like I would be in here and I would be, um, putting on all the tile, using the adhesive, um, and just going through putting spacers on and then any of the funky cuts, Ryan would be measuring that out and taking them outside and doing that. Um, he is not one that likes like very tedious tasks, like doing those little spacers like in between each um, tile would have drove him crazy, but he would be really good at like making sure he has exact measurements and doing that very precisely. So. I always recommend if you're doing a project with the, like your partner or with someone is just like identify your roles of like what you're good at and just do it um, because it's like if I made Ryan do all the little spacers, he started to at first and I was like, I can tell he's getting frustrated and like that's not fun for anyone. Um, and so switching those roles, it made this go by so quick. I could cruise in here and he could do all of that out there. It took us like three and a half hours to do, it's like 25 square feet of um, backsplash and um, like around 500 spacers. And we had five boxes of the tile from Tile Bar that I'll t attach below. But here, let me show you. So, okay, originally too, when we had backsplash, it started to here, like kind of in. Um, and so we made this go all the way to the end of the tile, and so then we had to go all the way up this wall, which we both didn't really want to do. But now that we did it, we're like, it looks a lot more complete, like so it wouldn't have just ended right there at the cabinet. But this is what we're working with. The only thing that I think that we're not gonna do, underneath the microwave, there's a decent gap right there, but that would mean cutting like very small pieces. And I don't think you're gonna be able to tell once we grout it and caulk it up there. So, like I'm standing back, you literally can't tell at all. You'd have to like physically look under and I just don't think it's that big of a deal. But yep, we have it going all the way under here to the ledger right there. Over here, the outlets were tricky, of course, making U-shaped cuts, but it really wasn't that bad. And then over here, honestly, this kind of got trickier at the end because this was our last spot and we were excited to be done, but the, a lot of these were small cuts for Ryan to make. So I couldn't necessarily cruise in this area. I could really only do like this section until Ryan could get all those cut, but that is what we're working with today. Um, we are going to grout tonight, or at least I might. Ryan is like, Ryan takes care of our backyard. He's so sweet and that's like kind of like a responsibility he likes to take on. So I might just let him do that if he wants. And then I might finish all of this up in here. So far, this is really not a crazy project. This is what our countertops look like if you're new here. I'm excited to see it obviously all finished and revealed.
We are on to the next part of this project. I need to pull my hair back because I got so much um, like adhesive in it last night. I ended up combing it out, it's fine. But I was, my hair is just a lot longer right now than I'm used to. But, okay, so I'm throwing it in a bun, but now I need to grout this area. I'm gonna watch a video really quickly to make sure I am doing the right thing, but I think I got it covered. Non-sounded grout, poly blend, the grout color is bright white. It's gonna look really nice in between all this, just kind of brighten up the area. It just is filled with water to the line. Okay, and then I mix the grout for five minutes. Mix grout, wait five minutes. Oh, I, okay, I think I can do it. Here's another moment where I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out, so. Only thing is, this is what it comes in. I feel like I should put this on a plate or something. Is that, is that it? I don't really know. I don't really know how it's supposed to get in those edges. Just really, oh my, I'm nervous. I think I'm doing it wrong. uses unsanded grout, and since my spacers are one eight I'm super frustrated because so many people told me they're like grouting so easy like it's such a simple part of it and like I don't know if we got the wrong grout or what but this is far from easy it's actually really frustrating the tool that I have and bought from from a plethora of videos telling like me what to buy um, it's just so big and like I don't know if like I just don't have enough grout like I need it need more for each section it just feels like I'm like getting stretched thin with it it's really frustrating so I'm gonna wait 30 minutes though and see what it looks like because I'm gonna need to go to the store but I want to make sure like do I need to get different grout or anything like that I'm not really sure so yeah it actually kind of sucks it's actually super frustrating and I'm mad and there's literally nothing I can do about it so I'm gonna stay here for 30 minutes and work I think I found my solution um I'm no longer frustrated because it it looks actually fine. It's we just need more product. So I went and got a big thing of the poly blend, a non-sanded grout, and a big bucket and some mixers. So I'm a little more prepared now, and I got a smaller grout float. So I'm excited. It's a little uh, this might not even be right because it's not foam, but I'm gonna try it. I just need something smaller. My hand was cramping up. Okay. I'm gonna quickly wipe down everything else though because it's been 30 minutes and I can kind of see and then I'll refill in spots, you know, as we go. Okay, looking a little disheveled. Um, last you saw me, I was pretty frustrated with um, the grouting situation. Sorry, I'm just turning that off because it was making some funky lighting on my face. But, okay. As you can see, we are all grouted now. We had to go through. This is what no video told us was that we had to go through almost three times, like three times on grouting. I definitely, oh my gosh, I'm like shaking. All the videos we watched were just like, you slap grout on and then you're good to go. And I don't know, like that wasn't the case for us. Like we've never grouted before. So it was like definitely a learning experience. We went through like a couple times because we could not get it like in through the lines very seamlessly. Like it would be like really good in some spots and then really crappy in others. So I think this last time is really done well. And I think that we're just, we're wiping this down one last time for the evening and then we're gonna clean up. But we'll probably wipe down a couple more times before we put like outlet covers and everything back on. Should be finished by tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, like, I think that it looks really good. I'm excited to see what it actually looks like with the counters underneath too. Okay, this is really the moment I've been waiting for is to be able to actually see what this backsplash looks up against. We'll still obviously call and we still gotta wipe down, but there's really no need for us to have these on anymore. Wow, that's so fun to see it all complete like that. You guys, these are so good. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm making like a little no stick thing. It's just water and a little detergent. Saw it off a little video. Here we go. Mm. There. Oh, he said just a few drops of detergent, and that's more. Okay. Ah, this down really quick. I'm gonna start caulking. 
Again, guys, I've never done any of this stuff, so if I can do it, you can do it. Um, I just looked it up and someone said like, you're gonna want to do like a no stick type of concoction like this one because then what happens is you caulk and then you spray it and then you spray your finger and then you wipe away. So I'm gonna try this. I'm getting really antsy to finish this project. So this is kind of the last step. I'm ending the vlog here. It is actually like two weeks later now and I am just finally getting to this. Maybe it's only a week, two weeks. I don't know. Our life has been like genuinely a blur this month. We have our wedding um, in like 40 something days, like 42 days. So I feel like we have all this stuff going on right now and I'm just like, whoa. But okay, so the caulk I got, it is like the correct brand. It's just like we should have gotten the ones that like you actually attach that like squeegee thing too and it kind of like pushes the caulk out because like having to like use my hands like that was like super it like very uncomfortable and I was able to caulk all like the bottom edges and a lot of the side ones but like caulking underneath the cabinets I wasn't able to get to I need to actually go buy more caulk um probably I should probably do it this week and we are actually going to be sealing the grout too with the grout sealer to make sure that the grout stays in place I read up that like grout can like crack and rot throughout time if you don't seal it so I will be doing that as well but okay our kitchen's a little bit of a mess but I'm going to show you guys kind of just like what it looks like now I'm really proud of the project um the main thing like rewatching, I'm like oh my gosh I forgot how frustrating grouting was and it, that was like the most frustrating part and if you take this on yourself I just would be aware of it I don't know like th that for us was really frustrating um and yeah it looks really good now like it really does like after we wiped it down we probably had to wipe it down like four or five times to really get that shine to come through and the grout to come off the actual tile but that was really the only part I would like rate this on like a scale of fighting with your partner like one out of five like it was actually a really good project to do with Ryan um I don't know if we're just better at communicating now and like divvying up roles but like it just was like pretty easy to do together and not super frustrating which was nice but yeah, I'm really proud of how it turned out. Um, main takeaway from this vlog is I need to work on my posture. I am just like, Ryan's always told me that, but I need to really work on my posture. <laughs> Sorry, I had to witness a hunchback on your guys' screen. But okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Here is just a quick little look at the final touches of the caulking and everything. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll be back to regularly scheduled vlogs soon. And our next renovation that we are doing is actually right here. We are going to do like a little board and batten entryway because if you look here at our like entryway, we love it. It's great. There's nothing wrong with it. Maybe eventually floors are, these are like the original carpets and everything. Let me actually dodge. Um, but we're thinking of doing something like probably up to like here on the wall and having like a little board and batten matching it more with like the aesthetic of kind of like the boho theme in here because then we kind of go into like this modern theme we have two different styles of taste within myself so like that's kind of why we have different things which i think it looks fine and do kind of like a little coat racks and then be able to like put up some like photos and mirrors and like kind of like style this area this blank wall and then i really feel like this whole space will come together okay that's just a little preview of what we're doing next and let's see the backsplash. Also, side note, 
wait, sorry, before we get going, all the videos I watched of, can or of cabinets being painted, they never painted underneath. They never did. Now that we have everything installed, do you think we should paint underneath the cabinets? I don't mind doing it. I don't think it'd be that hard. But does it, would it look better if it was painted black like the cabinets? Let me know. I'm curious, or do I just leave it? Thank you. Okay, here we go. 